G'day there, welcome to the channel. Exciting day today. Two reasons. One, pull the sheet off this so we can get stuck into the next project. And two, find out what is in that box. That's possibly a moot point now because you probably know what's in the box judging by the title of this video. However, I'm still going to do the unboxing because I think it's exciting. First things first, let's get the sheet off this baby. There it is. Awesome. Looks as good as it ever did. Well, as I mentioned earlier, you already know what's in the box because of the title of the video. However, we have to do the whole thing. It's all part of unboxing really, isn't it? So, let's do it. There it is, the Ziptie fuel filter by Ziptie Racing in the US. Why am I changing the fuel filter? Um, in the fuel hose that comes out of the bottom of the tank in the quick disconnect, there is a small witch's hat type fuel filter. You'll be able to see there, quite small. And as you may have seen in this video, they can get blocked up. You know, contaminated fuel, maybe whatever was in the tank machinings and etc. They get blocked up fairly easily. It doesn't take much to almost totally block these little filters. Why have I gone with this one? Well, it's all about size. If we open this one up. Get a spanner, it looks like it's about a 19 mil on there. Little mini screwdriver. What we have there is a washable aluminium 10 micron fuel filter. Now I said it's all about size, so it is this versus this. So the surface area of a cylinder, the ends are not uh, not included, so ignore the the two end surface areas. Two pi r h. The height is. We'll call it 14 mil. Well, the diameter is uh, about 3.2. Plug all of that into my trusty calculator. 140 square millimeters. So that's how much surface area you have on that little filter for bike to get fuel through. Surface area of a circle is pi r squared. The diameter of this one is 28 millimeters. Half of that, 14. Plug all that into my trusty calculator. 615 square millimeters. That is a huge difference in area. That is about four times the surface area available. Go back to this shot where my little fuel filter was half clogged by all that crap in there. I've now got 70 square millimetres left of surface area. 70 square millimetres of crud against this brings me down to, what, 500 and something square millimetres left, which is still three times greater than the total area of this anyway. So it's all about size. That's why I'm doing it. Size matters. What else comes with this? So the, the unit itself, it's a really nicely machined uh, unit. One side of it joins to the quick disconnect fitting on the fuel line already, which makes it really, really simple. And the other end, uh, the fuel hose attaches to it. Also, you'll notice in the end of it is the standard uh, little witch's hat fuel filter. I will remove that because I don't see the point in having two filters when the when what I'm trying to solve is to allow more fuel in 
in case of contamination. But it's good to know that it's still there. So if for some reason the one inside is damaged, you can simply swap back to that very quickly. Now, the other thing that it, that it comes with in the box is a, a, a clamp, obviously for the hose end of the filter. However, I'm not going to use that particular clamp. I will be using one of these. It's a, it's a hose clamp, but it's not a normal one. This isn't actually designed for uh, fuel injection hoses because you get a lot of pressure on there. So these ones, they're just nicer and they don't, they don't crimp up against the hose and, and possibly deform it. Now also with these, there are other ones around. The, the Golan ones are also quite a nice unit similar sort of size however they don't have the quick quick connect on one end they just have two pieces of hose so you, you have to run another hose and that's not that's not easy on this bike this is why i've chosen this the zip tie version with a quick disconnect this should mean i don't need to change any hose lengths it's quite simple in how it will work okay Let's get into it. So the first thing to do, it's fuel. Wear some gloves, protect your hands. This fuel filter is going to go right there. So it's going to, quick disconnect is in there. The fuel filter will attach to this hose. We've got to remove this clamp and then it goes, it will sit just there. First thing I will do is uh, disconnect that connector. They say quick disconnect, but they're just never that easy. Shit. This setup's trying to kill me, the things I do for you guys. Right, I've taped it all back up there. Should be good. Try again. Where were we? Pop that apart first. Anyway, there we go. Got a rag there just to catch any bits of fuel. I will take a look at that fuel filter once I pull this off. Now this this clip on here, I believe these come off fairly simply with well, hopefully with a screwdriver. Should just be able to It's not actually that simple. This doesn't want to play. I think there's an easy way to do this with a Dremel. Yeah, no, screw it. I'm going to the Dremel. Dremel. Let's try this. Alright. Yeah, that got it. Power tools. Look, you can probably do it with a screwdriver, but whatever. Not me, not this time. That is another reason why well, I won't use that clip again on here. That's why I'm going to use the one with the bolt on it. I'll just ease that hose off there. You want a... Uh, uh, there we go. Finally. So the first thing to do is obviously put the put the clamp on the hose so that you don't forget and then push the thing into there and that should fit really nicely there I have already uh, removed the witch's hat filter from inside click done so there you have it that's uh, quite neat and tidy. Uh, I think it looks good in the orange. It's, um, it's simple as 
in terms of quick disconnect, one clip on the other side, there's no extra hoses, you don't have to route anything anywhere, it's just a replacement for the standard one. Oh yeah, I did say I would have a look at what's in this fuel filter and just check it out. So let's have a look at that. Well, there's a comparison. Brand new versus what was in it. So it's definitely not as clean. Is it clogged? Well, it's not clogged, but it's not clean. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it useful. If you like the channel, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Now clean up all this stuff. The behind the scenes look there. Stuff everywhere.